You can use the SEO section to give each page in your e-commerce website the best chance of achieving a high ranking on Google, helping you to grow your website. So ahead of this video, you should have an e-commerce website that is live and holds a number of items. You can get to the SEO section by heading into the Items section underneath Basket and simply selecting the item whose SEO you want to edit. Scroll down to the bottom until you find the SEO section and open it up. Open up this area to choose exactly what title and description and slug this item has or any other page when presented to Google's search engine results page. What is SEO, or search engine optimization? Well, when someone searches for a word or phrase related to your business, like shoes, Google presents them with a list of results that are most relevant to the phrase that the user has entered. So this means that the words that you include in the SEO section in your website editor should reflect what customers would type into the Google search bar to find your items. So think of Google as like a matchmaker. It wants to match what customers type in with the most relevant results. So you have to include words that succinctly and accurately tell Google what this item, group or page is about in the SEO section. The first bar is the slug section. This is the ending of the URL page address and the slug distinguishes a particular page from other pages, whether it's an item or a blog post. So it must be unique, relatively short and always directly descriptive of the page content, which in this case is a day dress and you should avoid changing slugs after setting them. Google pays close attention to the text included in this title here. So the title included in here must tell Google firstly what the wider website is about, so women's clothing, and then what this particular page is about, in this case it's a day dress as an item. The description area however is not checked by Google. You would use this area to write a compelling advert for the page that entices customers to click on your website. So remember to use proper English grammar and don't just write a series of random keywords. So this line here is a good example. So to sum up, you want a descriptive slug that you never change, a title that tells Google what the page is about and what the wider website is about, and a compelling description written in proper English grammar. And with that, you now know about what SEO is and the key fundamental rules behind editing your Google listing for all of the pages in your website, giving your e-commerce website a far greater chance of ranking highly on Google. You should now watch our video on slugs if you haven't already to learn more about editing a page's SEO. I hope that video was helpful for you and I look forward to speaking with you again soon.